Registered Phenomena Code 444 Object Class Gamma Orange Hazard Types Sentient Hazard Extra-Dimensional Hazard Containment Protocols Instances of RPC-444 are to be intercepted and replaced by a localized radio signal, produced by a series of dedicated transmission stations set up at predetermined locations where RPC-444 has been known to manifest. Following the events of Broadcast 444-13, MST X-Ray-6 annulifiers, is to monitor popular internet forums and media sites for any instances of RPC-444. A cover story involving a pirate radio station and an alternate reality game has been prepared for circulation in the event of a containment breach. All intercepted instances of RPC-444 are to be archived for informational purposes. RPC-444 is an anomalous radio broadcast transmitted live at randomized locations throughout the continental United States. Transmissions manifest weekly, every Friday between 2300 and 0 hours local time, in an approximate area of 225 km squared. Technical analysis of the RPC-444 signal has revealed it to be divergent from modern radio frequencies and attempts to replicate the broadcast signal thus far have proven unsuccessful. Due to the unpredictable nature of each broadcast, RPC-444 is to be treated as a high-priority intel breach. At this time, the exact origin of RPC-444 is unknown. Each RPC-444 broadcast consists of a radio talk show referred to as the KarmaCast, a program that offers a variety of financial, spiritual, and relationship advice to listeners who call in, often with the assistance of a special guest co-host. Supplementary research into the identities of the co-hosts featured in each broadcast has revealed that they are all persons who were officially documented as having passed away prior to their appearance on the show. Additional research has also revealed that a number of those individuals chosen to be co-hosts had previously called into the show and asked for some form of advice when they were still alive. RPC-444-1 believed to be a human adult male whom serves as the show's primary host. RPC-444-1 refers to himself as Kenny Karma and claims to reside in the town of Painkiller, New Mexico. RPC-444-1 speaks with an indistinguishable dialect and appears to be knowledgeable in a plethora of particular topics including multidimensional drug trafficking, sexual apocalypse survival, and folklore. The following is a selection of notable RPC-444 broadcast segments. Broadcast Log 444-2 Date September 29, 2000 Transmission Location California Okay, okay, back from break. Back to the old grindo. It's your boy! The Dalai Lama of airwave drama, Kitty Karma. And joining me today is the man, the legend, Raymond Green. How you doing, Ray Ray? Ah, well, you know, feeling under the weather? I'm <laughs> feeling six feet under, actually. Uh, I was murdered, remember? Uh, I can still feel it, everything just fading to black. Still hurts, emotionally, anyway. Can't say I blame you, kid. You've been through hell. I mean, I'm in my thirties now, I ain't no spring flower anymore, but damn, I've never been stabbed in the medulla oblongata by a relative. She got you good too with that screwdriver. Guess you could say that you really got screwed over, <laughs> yeah. guess winning the lottery wasn't so lucky after all, huh? You can say that again, brother, money truly is the root of all evil. I wish I could turn back time. I blame myself, shouldn't have been so goddamn greedy with my new fortune. Ma really needed that surgery, uh, but I didn't want to share my winnings with her, since she's the reason I ended up homeless in the first place. No use crying over spilled blood. Anyway, did that hot sister of yours ever confess to the murder? Nah, as far as I know, she got away with it. <sighs> Bitch got to keep all my money too, since she was my next of kin. Ma passed away and I'm stuck in the morgue. Jess, if you're listening, bitch move. Major bitch move. <laughs> Just hope the cops don't go snooping around Ma's old apartment at 2 Street in 
They might find the screwdriver you jammed into the back of my neck hidden in the shed. She taped it to the underside of the lawnmower. Real creative. Very creative. I hope Officer Nosy doesn't get the urge to mow the lawn. I bet they'd offer a nice reward too if some kind soul listening in right now were to let their lips loose. Now then, let's take our first call of the night. Give me a ring at… RPC-444-1 proceeds to answer a single call before Authority agents manage to intercept the transmission signal. Notes. Research into the National Homicide Database by Embedded Authority personnel found that one Raymond Green from California had been murdered two days prior to the broadcast. Following the airing of the broadcast, an anonymous tip to police led to the arrest of one Jessica Martin, whom was subsequently charged with premeditated murder. Broadcast Log 444-4 Date October 13, 2000 Transmission Location Delaware Monica Happy Friday the 13th! Welcome to the Karma Cast. Thanks for calling in, Sweet Cheeks. What can I do for you? Hey there! So, okay, this is embarrassing to ask, especially on live air like this. Don't be a bashful baby doll. Just let it all out. So, I found out that I'm pregnant, but my husband isn't, like, the father. I think I can get him to believe that it's his, but it feels so wrong. So, so very wrong. I do want to destroy our marriage. He's a great guy. The guilt is eating me up, too. I can't sleep. That's how I ended up staying up and listening to your show. Huge fan, by the way. Anyway, what should I do? Oh my. That's the one the spicy turkey steak roll. Maybe my ghost of a co-host should handle this one. Mark, you were a psychologist when you were still alive, yes? What's your take on this maternal mess? Well, if I may be frank, contrary to popular belief, honesty is not always the best policy. Being honest is how I ended up with a bullet in my cranium. The mob can be quite unforgiving. <laughs> uh, at least it didn't hurt. Quick and painless. Monica, sometimes it is much more pragmatic to keep a secret or two hidden from the world. We as individuals are defined by our flaws. We are entities comprised of cosmic energy, trapped within a prison of flesh and bone. So keep your secrets close. They're for you alone to indulge, and take them with you once you are finally liberated from the tangible world. You heard the man, Monica Baby. Keep them pre-lips sealed. Keeping my mouth shut is how I've managed to survive five years as a multi-dimensional drug smuggler. And now, a word from our sponsors. At this point, Authority agents are successful in pinpointing RPC-444 and are able to disrupt the transmission. Notes, supplementary research by Authority personnel found that an individual named Mark Kravitz had been pronounced dead at a hospital in Delaware four days prior to broadcast. The individual in question died from a gunshot wound to the head inside a psychiatric office. No suspects have been apprehended thus far. Broadcast Log 444-9 Date December 15, 2000 Transmission Location The outskirts of Site-061 in Texas I'm telling you, folks, the sexual apocalypse is very real and it is coming hard. No pun intended. So stock up on Minotaur T power pills, brought to you exclusively by the good folks at Amazing Co. Just call into our show at and we'll ship your order right away. These pills are amazing. I take them every day, honest. I feel 500 years younger. 500 years younger? Yo, aren't you like 30-something? Terrence, why you gotta play me like that? I'm trying to hustle here. I had no choice but to start advertising products on my show. Nobody calls in anymore. I think the number of people listening at home have gone down too. I think it's them cats I was telling you about, the lab geeks. Radio, remind me, how exactly did you croak? Okay, so I was in this lab, right, and there was this purple-gray cloud thing. I think they called it an RPC or something. Go on. 
and they made me step into a chamber with it. I was wearing a hazmat suit. They told me I'd be all right. But you weren't all right from the looks of it, eh? They lied to me, yeah. I step into the chamber. These lab geeks keep chattering in my earpiece, asking me to get closer to the purple cloud thing. Next thing I know... BAM! The cloud engulfs you and melts the skin off your bones. Turns you into cloud food. Yep. I mean, I did some fucked up shit when I was alive. That's how I ended up on death row. But what these slab geeks are doing? Man, that is some cold shit. They didn't even refer to me by my name. I was just another number. Some CSD secondary citizen bullshit. I honestly wish they would have just given me the chair instead of shipping me off to their lab to serve my sentence. And you're telling me these lab goons are probably jamming my signal and screwing with my program? As we speak, I bet Dr. is still sitting on his fat ass knocking back jelly donuts and trying to look busy. Well, I'm usually a mellow yellow kind of fellow, but if this keeps up, then the gloves are coming off. I'll expose them for the sensor and serpents that they are. Gah! Now I'm angry! My dude, you need to expose them. Fight the power. Yes, fight it! But first let me tell you about the special sale we're having on all Karma Cast merchandise. Shirts, hats, coffee mugs, massage wands, all at half price, plus shipping. The remainder of the broadcast consists of RPC-444-1 and its co-host discussing various products that can be purchased by calling into the radio show. Notes, further investigation into the broadcast revealed that the guest featured on this particular broadcast was one Terrence Jackson, a violent criminal on death row who had been recruited as an authority asset designated CSD-76128. Terrence Jackson expired during initial experimentation with RPC Broadcast Log 444-12 Date February 19, 2000 Transmission Location Idaho Welcome. Welcome to the KarmaCast. I'm Kitty Karma, your fearless guide on this wild, wet ride. Joining me today is a very familiar face. It's Monica. What's up, girl? Hey, long time no see. Thanks for having me. Guessing things didn't turn out with the hubby and baby? Yeah, he sensed something was off and demanded a paternity test. I could let him do it. He'd tell everybody, my mother, my co-workers, a Catholic girl like me, I'd be ruined. So you jumped off a bridge and took your secret to the grave, eh? Yes, I feel so much better now. Finally free from the shackles of life. Although, I can't help but notice this place seems a lot quieter now. Going out of business? Of course not. Some meddling monkeys are just screwing my show is all. My broadcast can't reach as many people that used to. I honestly don't know what to do other than scream incoherently. Ugh, I'm gonna lose it! Well, have you thought about broadcasting on the internet? Podcasts are like, all the rage now. All the cool kids have one. Internet, eh? Interesting idea. The broadcast is suddenly cut and only static is heard. Broadcast does not come back on the air. It is believed that RPC-444-1 may have decided to suddenly end the broadcast. Notes, the guest host of this particular broadcast was one Monica Dimson, an individual who had previously called into the show during broadcast 444-4. A search in the local obituaries in the region revealed that Mrs. Dimson had recently committed suicide by jumping off of a highway bridge. Due to insufficient evidence, it is unclear whether her death was influenced by RPC-444. Following the events of Broadcast 444-12, RPC-444 ceased to manifest at its usual time. This persisted for two months, leading authority researchers to believe that the anomaly had been successfully neutralized. However, on May 4, 2000, and authority agents on an unrelated assignment were alarmed to find that a new instance of RPC-444 had emerged in the form of an audio podcast on the popular video sharing site com. Please see Broadcast Log 444-13 for additional information. 
Broadcast Log 444-13 Date May 4, 2000 Transmission Location Worldwide via Internet Finally! We are live and back on the air without a care. I am your roguishly handsome host, Kenny Karma. This is the final bastion of truth. This is the Karma Cast. And we are taking the internet by storm. I am here to expose the man. To call out the authority. The authority. Ha! <laughs> what a joke. Who gave them authority in the first place? I didn't authorize nothing with no one. No how. The world needs to know. Tell him, Double K. Damn right. These lab coat wearing things are intergalactic vampires bent on sucking all knowledge and wisdom out of our heads and locking it up in their vault. And it won't stop until we're all dumb and broke and ugly. Right, so about the Authority. They have this thing in containment. This thing that killed me. It's a dangerous thing that can… And a reminder to all the viewers watching this stream, all KarmaCast merchandise is 10% off for the next 10 minutes, so grab yourself a t-shirt. We even got plus sizes for all you <laughs> body positive larger than life types. Are you listening? I think people need to know about this. The authority has a blindfold pulled over society. They've got things locked away that could benefit the world if they share it with Right. You told me about that before we went on the air. Sight. Right. They got locked up in there. You know, originated in my hometown of Painkiller, New Mexico. No idea how they managed to contain it. I remember tons of people dying during the Great War of 19. They say that the clash between and the turn the time-space continuum into slush, like a stack of ice cubes melting into each other, into one big puddle. And now here you are, interviewing dead people from the comfort of your own basement. And I couldn't be happier. This. This is the new normal. We are breaking the conditioning. What did you say they called you? CSD personnel? I think from now on I'm going to exclusively invite you CSD personnel guinea pigs onto my show. You always provide such juicy information. I won't let your death be in vain. Now let's talk about RPC. At this point, Authority resources succeeded in forcing the broadcast offline before promptly deleting the account host in the stream. Note, the individual who appeared as a guest host during this broadcast is believed to be a deceased CSD resource, though Authority researchers have thus far been unable to identify him. Furthermore, based on RPC 444-1's comments regarding RPC, it is theorized that RPC 444's point of origin may be located within an alternate reality. Further research is imperative to fully understand the connection between RPC and RPC-444. Authority agents were able to use internal resources within .com's technical department to quickly remove the broadcast and delete the account responsible for uploading the video, but it is estimated that over individuals may have been exposed to RPC-444 during its 5 minute 21 second runtime with viewers able to interact with RPC-444-1 and its guest host being in an integrated chat room. Following the events of this incident, RPC-444 has attempted to manifest itself times across various media-sharing websites. Thus far, Authority resources have been able to subdue 98% of RPC-444 instances, though it is believed that approximately Instances may have been downloaded on the personal devices across the world through illegal file-sharing websites. 